Hello everyone, Radswin Law wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wanted to talk to you today about the legal implications of Christmas. And yes, there are legal implications of and about Christmas. And no, this is not just because I'm a lawyer, but that God's Word explains the reason for Christ, Jesus Christ, coming to this earth to, is to wash us white as snow. And the legal implication is that that started at Christmas. You see, in order for a sinner like me, like you, to stand in front of the just judge of the universe, we have to have a mediator. We have to have someone that, that pays the fine that we owe for breaking God's law. If you think of it as this way, if you get a traffic ticket and Radswin Law represents you in traffic court, at the end of the hearing, at the end of the court session, if I pay your fine, the just judge can then dismiss your case. Well, that is the same thing that goes on with the coming of Christ. You see, when Christ came 2,000 years ago, and yes, he's the only person in history that literally has split time rearranging the calendar uh, based on his coming, when he did that, he started the process of living the life that we could not live, keeping the law perfectly. If you, after this video, I encourage you, go and read the first eight verses of Romans chapter eight. It talks about how there's a legal requirement uh, based under God's law that uh, requires humans, in order to be declared forgiven and righteous before God, there had to be a, a satisfaction, a payment of that, of that law. And we as humans break God's law and we deserve his, um, his punishment. We deserve to be found guilty in front of that just judge. Every time we've ever told a lie, every time we've ever hated someone, ever, any time that we've ever disrespected our parents or taken the Lord's name in vain, um, those, those are violations of God's law. And as the just judge can find us guilty. But remember, if we stand in front of him with someone who pays our fine and that person is the person of Jesus Christ, then the just judge of the universe can forgive us and only at that time he can forgive us and declare our case dismissed. You see, in order for us to do that, we have to believe that Jesus is who he says he is, that he's fully God, fully man. He came to this earth to live in our place, to die the death that we deserve in our place, and then raised from the dead on the third day. We have to recognize that we are law breakers and that he has paid our fine in full. And that is the legal implication of Christmas. And Radswin Law, again, wishes you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you are well. Stay safe out there, everyone. Until next time.